This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that sex is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Joan Sims played the character Madge Cadwell in the sitcom when she was 42 years old in 1972. Sadly, on June 27, 2001, she left us due to liver failure and diverticulitis at 71 in Chelsea, London, England. We're deeply saddened by her passing. If that's what is cracking. Well, look, I think we are all jumping to conclusions. Oh, we might have known you'd side with him. <laughs> we are just good friends. And as for you, the next time you buy a slap, and I thought, I can't have Tyra, that great star, you know. And anyway, he came. My next-door neighbor told me how to make a Caesar salad. <laughs> you know. Rita Webb played the character Miss Apparat in the sitcom when she was 69 in 1973. Sadly, on August 30th, 1981, she left us due to cancer at 77 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by her passing. After breakfast, all boarders will leave the hotel at 9 and return at 12 noon, unless I have... That shouldn't be long by the sound of things. <laughs> oh, she is ugly, though. Still, I'll be out most of the day, won't I? Looking after whatever... Derek Geiler played the character P.C. Corky Turnbull in the sitcom when he was 58 in 1972. Sadly, on October 7, 1999, he left us of natural causes at 85 in Ashgrove, Queensland, Australia. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Uh, just a moment. Uh, Sergeant? Yes. Um, <laughs> get me MI5 on the phone, would you, and see if 0073... It's full. I've got a hundred. We nip round the bank for the rest. Ah, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, it, it's six o'clock. I can use Barclay Bank. My Richard Caudicott played the character Cuthbert Willoughby Smith in the sitcom when he was 65 in 1973. Sadly, on October 16, 1995, he left us due to a heart attack at 87 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. <laughs> What's the trouble, Brown? Mr. Captain, I have a complaint to make. Do you know what Mr. Jacklin has just said to me? I can guess. Look, Brown, be a good fellow, will you? There's an awful... <laughs> Sam Kidd played the character Ambulance Man in the sitcom when he was 57 in 1972. Sadly, on March 26, 1982, he left us due to Ophysema at 67 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. He's in a state of shock. This is about that big. What is <laughs> yes, I know. I'm not a psychiatrist. Right, Isn't that illegal? Not if it's your mower, but it's his shed. Well, don't nick his shed. <laughs> Eric Sykes played the character Eric Sykes in the sitcom when he was 49 in 1972. Sadly, on July 4th, 2012, he left us due to illness at 89 in Asher, Surrey, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Mm. He'll be insufferable now, won't he? Oh, 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 have you seen the paper, Sykes? <laughs> That's right. Yes. Oh, jolly good picture of me. <laughs> the only laugh I got was from the manager. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but the thing was that uh, when you did that, you had to be 20 years. Gordon Rawlings played the character attendant in the sitcom when he was 46 in 1972. Sadly, on June 7, 1985, he left us due to illness at 59 in Bristol, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Hello, he's back. <laughs> it's my turn. I saw him first. You've had six to death. Albert Rawbottom's been dead 15 years. <laughs> I didn't say it were last week. <laughs> and in all, it's not that sort of proposition. Well, that's a relief. I've got too much to do this morning to spend... Frank Gatliff played the character Conrad Crabtree in the sitcom when he was 45 in 1972. Sadly, on June 23, 1990, he left us due to illness at 62 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. 
It's hot. I thought, I what's happened to hot? Yeah, jeez, Melanie. No, thank you, comrade. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I guess we trousers off, you see. And I put a bit of soap and I just put... My Hardy Jackass played the character Hardy Sachs in the sitcom when she was 50 years old in 1972. Sadly, on October 6, 1980, she left us due to illness at 58 in Kensington, London, England. We are deeply saddened by her passing. The competition. Oh, I think it's marvelous. You must be a very good golfer. Yes, it did take some winning, actually. Uh Joy Harrington played the character Miss Rumbelow in the sitcom when she was 62 in 1976. Sadly, on October 22, 1991, she left us due to illness at 77 in Bristol, UK. We are deeply saddened by her passing. Charges, very serious indeed. Criminal assault, destruction of property, and obscene behavior liable to... Tony Simpson played the character The 1000th Passenger in the sitcom when he was 66 in 1972. Sadly, on March 30th, 1983, he left us due to natural causes at 76 in Westminster, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Thousands pray silence for the depot manager. <laughs> the depot manager. The depot manager. Richard Wattis played the character Charles Brown in the sitcom when he was 60 years old in 1972. Sadly, on February 1st, 1975, he left us due to a heart attack at 62 in Kensington, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Mm, I must pop in and see this mysterious dog sometime. Very fond of animals, you know. So are we. Mm. Do you ever exercise it in the garden? Oh, oh, yeah. Campbell Singer played the character Inspector in the sitcom when he was 64 in 1973. Sadly, on February 16, 1976, he left us of natural causes at 66 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Corky Turnbull? Yeah, oh well, Constable Turnbull really, and he hasn't got his helmet on there, you see. Oh, <laughs> yes, well, um, he's left. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Sykes? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.